Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft, and welcome back to Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. Now, last time, what did we do? Well, we actually ended up starting to build a brand new building, which is awesome. I'm super excited. We need to get this dog, actually. We need to like, make a dog house soon. That would be a good thing to build anyway. We will do that soon. But for now, we've already got a project in motion, which is the railway right here. And originally, we kind of made it like this going across and then all the way down there and I don't think that's the best of course Mika's here she's kind of just following me around for no reason but anyway we need to get a fish for her actually because um, we haven't fed her in a while but um, I want to change the way the railway works so what I'm doing now is from here it's going to go down, down, down. I've already started to build this because it's just going to be boring otherwise. And I've already started to build kind of staircase down and it meets a ravine, turns right. And I want it to go down to kind of like a little underground hub where we can choose where we want to go in the TD Empire. Because eventually the TD Empire is going to be huge. It's going to be all the way around here. So we're going to need a good way to get around other than walking, wasting our hunger. And it's a lot more fun being on a railway. So basically, let's go down here and have a look at what I've done I kind of need to make it a little bit more headroom because otherwise we're just gonna suffocate and that's gonna be upsetting and just terrible isn't it so <laughs> this is where we get to and we get to this crazy ravine right here which you've already been to because it's all lit up um, and I think this is the one where we kind of skipped around the edge yeah look at that it's really really precarious like you're gonna you 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 are really risking your life going down there so we come around this corner we go down here and this is where I got to but I had to make a new pickaxe so we're down here um i don't think we can see through there yet oh there we go i don't know how far let's have a check about how high up we are that's what i did this for um oh we're almost there we are actually almost there so we could even um make it oh no we don't want to make it down there because uh it's gonna be all lava and stuff we don't want that to happen so what we're gonna do is just come along here and then go down this way so if we go down this way we should be able to get to kind of like the flat parts hope what was that sound what was that sound that didn't sound too great um there's gonna be nasties down here i'm sure of it i'm just very scared that there's lava down here very worried indeed so let's just keep going downwards if we go from here just so that we make sure that we can get the whole curve on the rail and stuff that coal will help because I'm running out of torches pretty quickly. I'm always running out of torches. I think there's a load of, um, a lot, a lot of, um, coal in the furnaces, actually. And we've also got a bucket of lava, I think we found last time as well, for the furnaces. So here we are. We have made it to the bottom of this amazing ravine. Look how beautiful it is. Really cool looking, but also terrifying at the same time. So I've seen, um, let me just put another one here. And I wanted to grab this coal as well. So let me grab this. Um, is that it? Is that all you're going to give me? No. But I don't want to grab that because it's right near lava. So basically, this is going to be our way down. And then we're going to make it all level and flat, which we're going to do off camera, I think, because making it level will be really, really boring to watch. But I wanted to show you how we're going to get down here. And I think it's going to use less rails in the long run anyway. And we need to sort out our powered rails to make sure we can get up. I think it's like every four you can get up. I'm not too sure, but we'll work that out too. And we need to pick up these rails that we made last time. So let's get back to the house. Let's have a nice sleepy, shall we? And then what we'll do is kind of continue it. But also what I want to do today is visit the mob grinder. That's a great way of getting to the mob grinder, by the way, is um, setting up an underground rail system. Because otherwise we have to walk all the way over there and it's not really too... Um, it's really time consuming, actually. So we're not going to do that. We're going to try and make a rail system. But today I think we might have to walk because I want to get to my mob grinder. And to do that... I'm gonna have to walk, but I also want to make a diamond sword and enchant it with a level 30 enchant. So that is what we're going to be aiming to do today. Um, that's gonna be like our main goal and then whatever else we get done is perfect. So see you later, buddy. Let's open the door for him and he walks straight out. So let's do that now, shall we? Let's, um, hmm, what should we do? Should we visit the mob grinder now? I think we should because we've just made, um, just woke up, so it won't be too bad. Uh, let's go over here. Let's walk past the magical wizarding hat. Some of you have been asking me to make an enchanting table. You may be new to the series, but it's right in here, right in there. And I think we need to light that up a little bit, because otherwise some nasties are going to spawn in there. And we don't want that whatsoever. That'll be, that'll be literally terrifying, walking in there to enchant something, and then it just gets blown up. And you know my luck with creepers is terrible. We're on hard mode as well, so it does tons and tons of damage. 
which is ridiculous. So let's just trot over. You can see how long this takes. We did have a railway for the villagers, but um, that was that was kind of long. You can see all the waypoints that I made for that. That was long. It was a long time ago, actually. That was before we even got to double digits of episodes. We made this terrible bridge. But the bridge is kind of coming into use now, so our mob grinder is down here And if you haven't seen it yet, it's actually pretty cool. I'm really impressed with it I'm really impressed that I've made something kind of technical in Minecraft I mean, it's not overly technical, but it's kind of awesome. So check it out This is the mob grinder that we've got and what happens is they spawn in they go down the water And I'm sure you've heard me talk about it loads and loads of times already and they just kind of um, spawn down here So there's no why is there no one here? Why is there no one here? I need to I need to grab your experience, guys. Hey! Hey! Hey, you, you spawn for me. Is that a guy there? No, it's not. Why are they not spawning? Oh, they're spawning. They're spawning. Okay, they're spawning. It's probably because I've only just arrived in the chunk. So what we're going to do is wait here and you'll be able to get the experience from there. And then I think we're going to harvest as much experience as possible. I'll speed it up so it looks really cool. And we've actually got um, 30 levels. And then we'll go ahead and make the diamond sword. And go and enchant it. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful thing. How are you doing, skeleton? I'm going to hack your legs down. So the best thing about this is that you do get to hack their legs rather than their face. So they can't even attack you. And oh, they're coming down like crazy now. Come here, skeleton. Come on, I need to smack your legs. Here we go. Smack it. Oh, he did hit me. That guy was a sharpshooter. We, we won't listen to that, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, let's wait for loads of skeletons to come down. And I'll join you back. When I have finished getting the experience. It's going to be quite a while, but it's going to be super fun. Let's do this. Hey, right then. I have reached level 25. It's taken a while. You may also notice I am rocking the stone sword right now because I messed up pretty badly and um, I didn't bring a backup sword with me. So I've used like three stone swords, which is pretty crazy. Um, I think we're gonna um, just slay one of these to break this sword here. There we go and grab this sword and take this guy down and it works this this whole thing works pretty well actually But it takes a long time. I was sitting there for like eight minutes to gain five levels And I think I'm gonna run home and on the way slay the beasts that um, come out in the night as well So oh god, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's tons of them. Let's see if we can take some of them down shall we? Um, we get spider I'll take this zombie for breakfast. Come on then, zombie. Come up here, buddy. Come up here. I just want to slay you. Oh, no, I, I can't take two of you. I can't take two of you. Don't don't gang up on me now. Jeez. I need your experience, though. There we go. Taking him straight down. Um, we need 30 levels. So we need... Um, we need just over... Just under, sorry, five more. I think we should go back. Let me just check if there's any other skeletons dropped into the dungeon trap down here. They have. Um, here we go. Let's take this guy down. There we go. Gain some more experience. I think there's another one. There we go. I could hear him. I could hear his legs jangling and swimming in the in the ocean or the little river anyway. I think the river bit might be a bit too long. That's probably why they're taking forever to drop down. But I think we could get enough experience in this episode to be able to do what I want to do. Now, creepers aren't my favorite kind of guys, so we're going to try and head home and try and be uber safe about it. But of course, try and take down things on the way, like this guy. Um, I, sh I probably should not have battled him in the ocean. This was a bad and terrible idea. Take this guy, take him down, take him down. He's now on land. He's got the advantage. There we go. We're taking it. We're on 26. Not doing too bad. It's really difficult to see anything, but um, let's do this anyway. We're near some torches, so we should have an okay chance of getting back alive. We better do anyway, because... Oh, there's a creeper. There's a creeper. Oh, man. I just saw him out the corner of my eye, and then I heard him hiss. Don't be hissing at me, creeper. Is there anything else I can slay? I want to slay a couple more things, get some more levels. Come on, come out. Are you too scared to fight me? Am I too am I too scary? That's it. There's a there's a zombie. I'm gonna take this zombie down. Come here, zombie. You spawn in near the torches anyway. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's take this guy down. There we go. Farming for experience. The zombies don't give as much experience as skeletons, which is annoying. 
But um, it's okay. It's all experience. It's all good. Uh, we probably need to protect some of these villages now. There's some tracks in here, which I didn't see before as well. That's nice to know. I think we're going to sleep. Shall we sleep or shall we protect? Let's protect for a little bit. Oh, there's, there's a guy here because they're going to be really attracted to this place. And that's good. You can keep him in the pit. Go on, get out of here. Get out of here, you slimy zombie. There we go. Um, we, we, we're almost... We're getting to level 27. I heard a zombie, I think. I heard another one. Let me stay near my snow golem guards. They will protect me. There's a villager running away. That's usually the sign of a zombie. Where is he at? Where is he at? Is there no one around here? Um, is that a skeleton? Yeah, I've seen a skeleton. Nice. This is good. They give good experience. Oh, he flipped him. Yes, golem. Finally, something you've done right. Apart from killing me. Why did you kill me last time? That was a bit upsetting for me, okay? A little bit upsetting. They're trying to hide. Um, I think we're going to go to sleep as well because we might as well just put the villagers out of their misery. We don't want to put them through anymore. And then we'll sweep up what's left in a second. What is left? What is left outside? Come on, show me the goods. Show me the mobs. Uh, no, I want to I wanna go out. Is there any anyone around? Anyone at all want to taste my sword? No. No, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. We're all safe around here, I think. So, what I think we should do now is kind of... Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a zombie. There's a zombie. I want to try and kill him before he burns. Um, did he go in the water? Oh, he burned just... <gasps> no! It's the guy! Oh, no! Should we keep... Oh, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Let's um, lure him over here. Um, that's the guy who's always been under there. We're going to have to keep him now. We'll have to keep him there. That's so upsetting. That really is. Oh, I can't believe he got infected. Oh, no. He'll be fine under there. Oh, that's... Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good at all. We've got one infected villager. We'll keep him in quarantine underneath the bridge, and then he should be okay. Let's hope so anyway. Oh, goodness. I can't believe that happened. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel like I haven't protected the TD Empire enough. I haven't done a good job. Oh, man. Anyway, let's take up some of these rails. I did lay down a lot of rails, so this could take a while. But we need to relay them in the brand new place where I put them, which I think is a lot better idea. And then we're going to make some powered rails and sort them out as well. So let's do that. Let's take all of these up, all of these up, all of these up. And it's gonna, I can't remember how many we put down. We actually went underground, didn't we? So it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot down here. It's gonna take a lot of my durability as well on here because they do take a lot of durability to mine up. I don't think we went too far down here, so it should be okay. And this is just unnecessary rail wastage right here. Really unnecessary. Let's just take all of this out. Um, any mobs that um, we kind of find on our way will be good because we can get that experience to get up to... Um, okay, hi, spider. You came in just on time. There we go. Take him out. Get out of here. Give me your experience, your sweet, sweet experience. And I think, uh, yeah, we only got to here, which is good. So we don't need to take too long to be able to get back um, to the top and replace all of these. And of course, as I said a moment ago, we're going to need to make some powered rails anyway to replace some of the non-powered rails. So we'll save a little bit more rail that way. Right then, uh, I swear I just saw a piece of red. It was a mushroom. It's being paranoid right now. Uh, we only need a little bit more experience. We don't even need that much to be able to make what we want to make. Ah, uh, I really want to get that diamond sword done today, if I can. I really, really want to get it done today. All right, let's see how far this goes down then, shall we? Let's just keep putting the rails down, putting the rails down. Keep going, keep going. And I can't remember how far up you can go with one powered rail. Because this is going to be perfect on the way down with normal rails. But we need to put powered rails in so that we can get back up. Because otherwise it's just going to be a disaster. This is a problem. We need to... Hmm, what do we need to do here to fix this? To fix this. Um, oh no, that's that's precarious. I need to make one bit flat, I think. And then turn it. Oh, I'm not sure. I think I've messed this up. Oh, why? 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 Anyway, that go down to here. That would work, but it won't work on the way back up, which is worrying. So I think we're going to have to make a makeshift second layer. Um, let's put this here, this here, uh, this here, this here, and then it should go back down properly. Um, let's try it. 
Uh, yeah, let's work this out, shall we? Because I'm not going to put all the rails down and then have it mess up. Because that would be terrible uh, to put that there. So then that will go here. Will this turn now? Oh, come on. Well, I need to get my, my hotbar sorted out. So this will turn. This will go down here. Oh, I don't think this is going to work. This is going to be overcomplicated now. I've done it way too... I think I need to bump these up by one, which is kind of annoying. Let me just put this there. Um, then... No, wait, we might be saved. We might be saved. Can we put this here? Here, here. And then here? No, it's always going to be like that, isn't it? It's always going to be like that. Let's try it this way. Why? I knew I'd mess something up. It was too easy. Too easy. What about here? No, it doesn't go down like that. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. This might work. Yeah, we done it. So, a little bit overcomplicated. Wasting a little bit of rail, but I'm not putting new rails or new blocks in all the way down here. That would take so long. So damn long. And you can see how much rail we have saved already because we are already almost near the bottom and we've only used just under one stack. There we go. We've made it, guys. We have made it all the way to the bottom. Right, we should just have a little ending part here. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> so perfect. We need to light this up so that nothing comes and attacks us. Um, we're going to make this here just in case we've got uh, a lot of... just So, so we've got a escape route anyway. I don't know why I put that there. Get out, get out of here, Torch. Get out of here. Uh, let's put this here. I think we're good... Yeah, it's a very, very big ravine. And we're going to have to use this as kind of like the hub to get down and out as well. Which might be a little bit difficult. Might be a little bit. Can we get... I need experience from mining these ores. Do I only get it from coal? Because that would be upsetting if we only get it from coal. Because I can get quite a few from here, actually. Let's take some of this, take some of this. Oh, there's loads of coal here. We can get a nice load of experience from this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's not get attacked by any lava, though. If lava comes, I'm running. I am running so far away. Let's put this here. We've got... Okay, we've got a nice amount of coal here. And a nice amount of experience as well to be able to work towards our 30 total. I think that coal just burnt and died, but it's okay. <laughs> we can spare the coal for now. Right then. Now that we've got that sorted out, we need to make powered rails and figure out how we're going to, um, how many we need. We're going to need, if we used a complete stack and you can only really move every four spaces, then we're going to need a lot. Um, 64 divided by four, anyone? Divided by half, 16? Would 16 do it? It's, that sounds a little bit low. But um, let's make some powered rails, shall we? I think we've got enough to make powered rails. I can't 100% remember how to make them. So let me just quickly grab a crafting table. We also need to finish the outside of this. Because if we haven't got an outside, then it's not going to work, is it? So let me just grab... What was I going to look at? Um, powered rails. Uh, six gold, one stick, and a piece of redstone. Let's see how much gold we've got. I think we've been finding gold left, right, and center. So we should be okay for that. Let's just have a quick check, though, just in case we don't. Just just in case, just in case. Let's just go to the house. See, this is why we need an underground system. We need a better way to get around. Oh, careful there, careful there. He just got stuck in the door. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, God, it's all going wrong. Right then, we've got enough of this and redstone as well. We've got quite a lot of redstone. We've got sticks, so let's make some powered rails. We also need to make redstone torches as well. Right then. Uh, six, twelve, uh, what do I need? Sticks. Okay, that's the cheapest thing that we need. Um, twelve, four, eighteen. Let's go with eighteen for now. Let's make, uh, some more sticks. We're gonna need eighteen redstone torches. So let's make those right now. Make all of those into redstone torches. There we go. And we should be good now. Put that away, put that away. That didn't actually use up too much. I thought it was going to use up a lot more than that. We've also got a lot of iron in there. We've got 27 with that new iron in there as well. And now we get to making this. Let's try it. What are you doing? Are you, are you he's so struggling right now? Really struggling to get the door working. And we're not that far away from our goal of 30 levels either, which is kind of annoying. I really wanted to... 
be able to do it. Oh, I should have bought a minecart with me. Um, yeah, I should have bought a minecart because I need to test this. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to test it on the way down and then test the power on the way up so we can do that. I think we have minecarts from when we brought the villagers across. That was epic. I loved doing that. It was so awesome. We're pushing the villagers all the way. It was kind of annoying because um, they they don't really cooperate too well with um, the whole pushing in the minecarts. But they cooperated in the end. It was okay. How's our little zombie friend doing? Is he going to despawn? Oh, he's despawned. I wanted to keep him. Oh, he's gone. A, ru a rip. The, the, oh, my God. Oh, rest in peace, zombie villager. He's been there for so long, and he got infected and killed. Oh, I can't believe it. Right then, here we go. Let's go minecart, and let's go down. Down, down, down. This might kill me. This might kill me. Um, are we okay? Nice! We got all the way down, which was beautiful. That actually worked nicely. I like that. So what we're going to do here is put this, and this, and this. No, we want to put this here. So powered rail there. And then we need a button. Oh, man, we need a button. Uh, can we make a button now? I can't remember whether it uses smooth stone or not. It does, but I think we've got a furnace. We just so happen to have a furnace. I'm not sure why we do, but we're going to cook um, one of those. Let's just use a piece of wood because we don't really need to use anything else. And there we go. Give us one piece of stone. So we're going to put that there and then this here and see how far that takes us by itself. And then we'll have the start of an underground system. Here we go. Let's go to mechanisms button and um, did I just put that down? Yeah, I did. I can't reach it though. There we go. This will take us to the gap. So that's not too bad, is it? Took us to about here. I think if we take this out, we should be able to get powered up even further and this is going to be a lot of trial and error so let's do that there we go let's put i think this is our first experience with a redstone torch i oh, know it's one less than that so let's try that again shall we we need to put it uh here no oh man i didn't mean to do that let's put that so this needs to go here the redstone torch needs to go in there and i'm looking forward to this i love the minecart systems of minecraft so this is going to be awesome this is really a step in the right direction so let's go here and we got one more and it takes us just to here oh oh minecart come down come down my cart my will you come down please will you come down? is he gonna come down or i'm gonna have to push him i'm gonna have to smack him aren't i i'm gonna have to smack you minecart i'm sorry Let's smack him. There we go. Nice. Right then. That brings us so uh, one, two, three, four. It's about four, yeah, including the ones here. So we might have to get some more redstone torches later on, but um, I think we can afford them anyway. Right then. Put this here. This here. Let's go. Does this work? Yep. It brings us. Where did that bring us up to? It's kind of hard to see because I need to make more of a ceiling. It was just before the torch, so every four it should be, and then we should be able to make it all the way to the top. So let's try it. One, two, three, four. I think we can make it a bit higher than that. If we make it to uh, here, because there's a flat bit, we might be able to make it higher. So let's try this and get back in the minecart again. So I really, I don't know if I want to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the diamond sword this episode. Yeah, that made it, that made it up to the torch. This is good. This is good. See if we can do it by the end of this. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, but that got us to the torch up here, which is, let me just count how many that is. In a second, anyway. This and this. That is one, two, three, in between. So three in between. If that works, it's three in between every one, and we can use that rule for the rest. So here we go. Yes, three in between works. Nice. It worked beautifully. <laughs> I can't believe this worked. So three in between and we're all good. Let's just swap these two around. Hopefully we don't run out of pickaxe. That'd be annoying. So uh, one, two, three. And then this one can be a powered rail. Oh, there's nasties. There's nasties everywhere. I can hear them. I can hear them. They're going to be riding in our minecart systems. I think we're going to have to put one here. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to put one here, so... Oh, no, we can't, because it's not straight, so we're going to have to put one there. 
See, this is complex. This is actually complex. Let's put this here. Um, where are we going to go next? I guess here. And then we can put... Hmm. Are we going to have to put a redstone torch there? Yes. Nice. I've run out of torches, though. Let's try this out and see what happens. Oh, I'm tense. I'm feeling tense. We're getting near the end of the episode as well, but I really want to finish this by the end so we actually have a way to get up and down without having to walk. Let's go up, up, up. Yes, it made it. It made it beautifully, and it's going to be super fast on the way down as well. Nice. I think we're definitely going to need to make more of these powered rails, but that's okay. They're not too expensive. The gold we already had, which is really good, and the rest of the tracks we just kind of harvested. So if we put... Let's start it from here, just so that we know we've got enough um, to get up there, enough power. And then we go one, two, three, and then this one will be the right one. So this should be a fairly easy process now, because it's just three in between everything. So uh, one, two, three, and then this one will be the one we take out. Ah, oh, we've got a good system going now. Got a good system, here we go. One, two, three, and then one here. I need to see how close we are to the top so that we can see if this works. The first testing of this is going to be awesome. One, two, three, and here. So let's do this and this as well. We need to power all of these. If we had redstone blocks, I don't know if we have redstone blocks. That would have been handy. One, two, three, block. We're getting to dirt, so I think we're near the top. Let's uh, make this here. And then we need to make the starting mechanism at the top as well. One, two, three, here. And we should be able to make it all the way to the top. And then one, two, three, here. Nice, we made it. Guys, we made it. Um, there's a lot of darkness around here, though. So, if we make this here. And then this here. So we put a vanilla rail here and it might go too high up actually why won't this collect are you okay there <laughs> um we should be able to do this oh wait 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 this uh this and we need one more button and then we've got a fully functioning railway let's go down to the bottom because there's a minecart there already and we should should be able to test this and be able to go all the way top to bottom and then we can make it look nice in between this episode and next episode because so i need to clear all the headroom i need to sort out that bit because it's a bit ugly but um for now it's working fine and hopefully there's no mobs in the way either so how are we doing for mobs we're doing okay for mobs here we go this is the big test it's going up it's going up. It's going up. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Go on. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. We went. Oh, God. No. Creeper. 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 Mm. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, I was expecting to turn around and everything was gone. All that was missing was that. <laughs> oh, God. That was amazing. I don't know why I can't pick this up. But, wow. That was cool. Let's get back before anything else happens. Not doing your job properly, are you? Jeez. Um, we're actually running out of food as well. I have some food in my inventory, but I just haven't eaten it yet. Let's get back. Let's sleep. And we've had a good day today. We've actually done a lot. We've got lots more experience. And between next episode, this episode and next episode, I will gain the experience we need to make the amazing diamond sword, enchant it, and be able to, um, yeah, hopefully get a really, really good enchant. So let's sleep this off um eat because we've had a busy busy day so let's eat as much bread as we can fit in our bellies here we go i think it'll be a three one two three three big lumps of bread and i think this will be a good time to end out the episode so thank you so much for watching guys we actually got a fully powered railway it's awesome. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, then please do leave a big fat thumbs up. And if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Again, thank you all for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!